Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's, this week's featured fly, we're going to be tying Lance Egan's Frenchie. The mainly we fish this in the winter time, whether it be the fall or the, the actual winter. So, in the vise we have an Allen Fly Fishing N304 size 16 hook, or size 18 hook. And we have a little bit bigger bead than you would normally have for a size 18. This is a 2.4 millimeter bead by Allen Fly Fishing. And we like the little bit bigger bead because it adds a little bit more weight to the fly. You can add some lead to the fly, but we don't like to add lead to flies this small. Um, we're also going to be using some UTC 70 denier flora pink thread. We're going to use some UTC copper wire in size small. We're also going to be using some UV ice dub in pink, pheasant tail fibers from natural pheasant tail, and for the tail itself we're going to be using whiting trailing pack, a Coke de Leon. This here is the medium. We really like the medium for our tails. So let's go ahead and get started on this fly. First we'll go ahead and start our thread here right behind the bead. Go ahead and cut that off. Wrap back a little bit to about halfway point. Then we're going to go ahead and get our Coke de Leon fibers. What we're going to do is we're going to stroke the fibers to get them get them even like so. Then we're just going to grab a hold of them and pull them off. And that should make them all even. Go ahead and grab them by their tips. And we're going to measure it to be about the length of the shank of the hook here. So we'll transfer this to the, our the other hand, our left hand. Go ahead and tie these in real quick. Put a couple wraps. And if they're a little too long, all you got to do is just go ahead and grab a hold of the tips here and pull them. And that looks about right there. So we'll go ahead and hold them here and we'll go ahead and wrap back and lift up on them slightly just so that way we can keep them on the, t the top of the hook. You don't have to go back, back very far here. That's about far enough. We're going to go ahead and wrap these fibers right into the bead there. Because like I said, we have a little bit bigger bead than this for this hook, so we're going to have to stuff a bunch of stuff in there to fill the, fill the void there. Alright, so next we're going to get our, th our um, wire here. This is, like I said, UTC, UTC small size wire. We're going to go ahead and cut off about a 4 inch strip here, which is plenty. You could probably tie a couple flies with it. And then we're going to tie this in on our side of the hook. We'll tuck it right behind the bead and we'll wrap it back. Right about there, we'll wrap forward. And by doing this, we're also adding some bulk to our fly. We do want to make a nice taper on here. So you want to go up to the bead and then wrap back for the next step to right about there. Then you're going to take your pheasant tail. We're going to cut off about five or six fibers from the pheasant tail here for a size 18. Alright, so there we go. Cut off the brittle tips. And we're going to go ahead and tie these in on our side of the hook. And then we're going to wrap back to right there. Come back forward. And like I said, we want to build up a little bit of a taper so we get a nice carrot shape. So we'll wrap to under behind the bead and we'll wrap back a little bit. Right about there, and then we'll wrap forward again. And that'll give us the taper we're looking for. So we'll leave the thread right behind the bead. We'll take the pheasant tail, and we're going to go ahead and wrap this around. And here I'm using my finger to make sure that the 
wraps don't come undone. You can, if you have a, a vise that rotates, you can do that as well. But here I'm just going to go ahead and just wrap them this way. So you want to go up to about right there, about a bead's length from the bead. And you're going to go ahead and lash these down and get them underneath that bead. Now flare out when they get to underneath the bead like so. Then we're going to go ahead and take our scissors we're going to cut away this excess here. And then we're just going to wrap a couple more times to get those butt ends underneath the, the bead and we're going to come back to right about there. And we're going to take our wire and you can counter wrap this if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and counter wrap it here and what counter wrapping does is it makes that wire stand out just a little bit more. And when we get to it, we're going to go ahead and capture our wire. And we're going to break it off, helicopter it off. And we're going to wrap back a little bit to right about here. We're going to go to our ice dub. We're going to get a little pinch of dubbing, not much. You don't need too much with this dubbing. And you could do this in a bunch of different colors. We just chose to do pink today because pink works really well for us. Now we're going to go ahead and create a nice little ball right in front of that bead. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and get our whip finish tool. And we're going to whip finish a couple times to build up a nice collar here. And we're going to go ahead and cut away the thread. And there you go. You got a nice little Frenchie here. Now, you can get a brush and brush out these fibers. We do we do, do that. I don't have the brush on me, so I can't demonstrate that, but you can brush this out. And the buggier you make this fly look, the better it fishes. So, um, like I said, pull one of these out, use it as an attractor fly with your other nymphs or your other midges during the winter time, and you'll catch a ton of fish with this fly. It's a great pattern to use. We use it all the time. Uh, so here's the fly of the month for, or the five fly of the week for this week. Uh, Lance Egan's the Frenchie. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we were, like I said, we're going to have a bunch of videos coming up so that way we can get caught up, get our channel built up a little bit. And um, as always, guys, tight lines.